Hello, this is Goku for someone. And this is SSJCJB1992. And we're here to talk about Street Fighter. It's 25th anniversary. Everything Street Fighter. Street Fighter this, Street Fighter that. Um, how did you get into Street Fighter? Um, my mom and dad bought me um, a Nintendo, a Super Nintendo, and I opened the box, and there it was, Street Fighter 2, right in front of me, Pete in. The game was just brilliant. What about you? I think arcades until I got into Street Fighter. Yeah. Um, I grew up where arcades were common. Were arcades common when you were growing up? Yeah, there was. For, but I didn't get to the arcades because I was too young back then. So. Uh. So, uh, who's your favorite character in Street Fighter? Um, Ryu. Mine is Guile. Okay. Um, so let's talk about why Street Fighter 2 is so great. Hey, um, in 1991, Street Fighter 2 was a huge success worldwide, especially in Japan and America. So... It just totally changed fighting games, if you know what I mean. It was the main fighting game back then, if you know what I mean. Yeah, eventually Mortal Kombat came out to uh, to challenge it. Yeah, that was a year later. Yeah. Um, I said eventually, um, because the idea of it is that it 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 defined what a 2D fighting game could be and should be. Yeah. It certainly had competition, but um, it was that and Mortal Kombat were the big, were the two big ones. Yeah. Um, I grew up more with Mortal Kombat. Um, I actually remember, um, I remember that uh, my friend had Mortal Kombat, and then he sold me his uh, Sega Genesis, so I ended up getting Mortal Kombat two, and I loved it. Um, but. Uh, Um, also, if I remember correctly, Street Fighter 1, wasn't that the first fighting game to have special moves? Yes, it was in 1987, in Japanese arcades, where you could use two players called Ryu and Ken. Yes. And the last boss was called Sagat, a Thailand and, uh, and at the time, that was the, at the time, fighting games, before that game came out, fighting games, uh, fighting games were only you play as one character and fight one-on-one -on -one combat. Um, yeah. Street Fighter, Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter Two, I think, was the very first Street Fighter game to actually have it, where you get to, where you actually get to choose from a cast of characters. Yeah, he had lots of about eight characters for a roster. Yes, which nowadays that's commonplace. I mean, like if you released a fighting game where you only got to play as one character, you would be like people would bitch you out for that. <laughs> um, why? Why did you? Uh, first of all, is I, I take it that's your favorite? Is that your favorite fighting series? Yeah, I uh, play tournaments competitively and I play for money as well. Why is it your favorite series? I don't know, because when I was growing up, I found it as my favourite fighting game, because it was competitive, if you know what I mean. It was more of a challenge. So it was balanced, you mean? In a sense, yes. Yeah. Um... Why do you think Street Why do you think Street Fighter has been around for so long? So why Why do you think it's still relevant today? I think because the success it got in 1991, it just was mind blowing. If you know what I, I mean. Can, I can agree with that. And then they just created more games to support its franchise. Well, the one thing I do got to complain about them. Is that I hate the fact that we that we're only on Street Fighter Four when there's been like a billion games. <laughs> yeah. Like I haven't bought Street Fighter Four, 
Yeah. Because of the fact that uh, because of the fact that I was waiting till the last version got released, and I and I'm I'm eventually gonna buy it when I can find uh, Street Fighter, uh, Super Street Fighter Four Arcade Edition. I'll buy that for fifteen bucks. Yeah, I own Arcade Edition. What? That's mainly the main game I play for tournaments, Arcade Edition. Yeah, that's the newest version. Yeah, that's the latest. So, what was your first Street Fighter then? Uh, two. Yeah, what version? I don't know. Can you remember, like, how many players there was in the roster, or...? Um... If it was eight, then it's World Warrior. Wait, did this, didn't the second version also... What did the second version add? It contained the four guardians of Boyson, Sagat, Vega, and Balrog. And also a balance adjustment to the speeds of the um, gameplay. Because World War II was kind of slow, if you know what I mean. When you actually yeah. moved the um, players, in a sense. Okay. That actually wasn't, um... Because I, I actually don't know what was, uh, what my first one, uh, what my first, uh what my first one actually was. Um, I think I played the, the game when it, uh, when it came out early, but I can't say that for a fact. Yeah. Um, I know I liked... I, I know I liked Cammy, so I know I played a, I know I played a lot of uh, New Challenger. Yeah. But I don't think that was my first one. Yeah. Uh, yet again, I don't know. I mean... Um, Street Fighter never really captivated me so much that I remember. Like, I can tell you exactly, I can tell you, I can still, I can, I still remember, uh, playing, uh, playing Zelda, uh, Zelda as a kid, because that more rang true to me. Yeah, N64 was good. It was a popular console for its day. Well, I played it on the, I play, I'm talking about Nintendo. Yeah. That was the first system I played uh, Zelda on. Yeah. Have you ever watched the uh, animated movie to Street Fighter 2? Um. Uh, no, I don't think I have. It's a definite watch. You should watch it. I plan to. Yeah. Um. Uh, do you need um? Is the um? Is the movie, It does the movie add, uh, is the movie and the TV show, is it telling the same story, just is the movie telling it condensed, or are they completely different and you should watch both? Do you know? Um, them different stories. I think the episodes are basically how Ryu met Ken, in a sense. Okay, is the movie first or second? Um, I'd say it's second, because the episodes are early on before the, the second, and basically, yeah. Well, I mean, I know the TV show uh, has a like is about them. It's not about when they met. It's about them going around the world yeah. fighting. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but the animated movie is really, really good. You should definitely watch it. So, should check that out. Let me see something. Yeah, uh, how do you feel about the movie? The animated movie for Street Fighter 2, it's, it's really, really good. No, 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 the movie. With the live action the movie. movie. The live action movies. <sighs> um, I really did not like Legend of chun Lu, to be honest. There was so much mistakes in that movie. Basically, chun Lu is supposed to be Asian. Yeah, and he's the girl from Smallville. You know who she is, don't you? I don't have a problem with her playing Shun Li, um, because she actually is Asian. Um, she doesn't have an Asian accent, does she? Um, no, it's more of American. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> And 
Vega is meant to be Spanish, but he's Asian. That's a bit retarded, in a way. You know what I mean? The casting was just men- so stupid. Yeah, and you mentioned M. Bison to me, where he looks like... Irish. You should see a picture where you can't tell it's M. Bison unless somebody tells you that. The Bison in the 90s movie with John claude Van Damme is more better Bison than it is in The Legend of Chun-Li. <laughs> You've seen the costume to that, haven't you? Yes. <laughs> so I take it it's a complete... Don't ever watch Legend of Chun-Li? It's a complete failure like Dragon Ball Evolution, in a sense. <laughs> so there's no redeeming... <coughs> Say that again, sorry. Is there any redeeming qualities of that movie? It's crap. <laughs> is the acting for some of the actors good, or is it all crap? Um, it it's okay. It's okay, I say. But the storyline is just bullshit. If you know what I mean? Well, I haven't seen the story, so I don't actually know what you mean. But I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of sad because um, they can make a good Street Fighter movie if they wanted to. Yeah, it's just like Gen. Have you ever heard of a player called Gen, the old man who teaches Chun Li? No, I I know very little about. But ba- basically, he's got a fighting store, but. He does not use a projectile in the games. How can you define the games into the movie when Gen does not do a projectile? In The Legend of Chun-Li, you know what I mean? Because Gen does not do a projectile in the games, but he does it in the movie. That's that's kind of dumb. Well, I mean, the, the problem with Legend of Chun-Li is that you're taking Chun-Li... Uh, what, the movies, what the movie should have been... In my opinion, is you should have taken uh, Re- Ryu and Ken, and you should make a movie about them having an adventure. Yeah, definitely. Um, have them go to, like, actually kind of make it like the TV show, um, where they meet up and they end up going to a couple of countries fighting people. That's a plot there. They th- they go around, and you get a little bit of a travel movie. Like, you have a, ro- you have a road movie where they're traveling around the world fighting the greatest... Uh, fighting some great fighters and there doesn't need to be an, a deep plot to it you just have a fun movie if you know what I mean yeah um, like uh, have you seen the Mortal Kombat movie yeah I've seen it did you enjoy it or hate it mixed reviews about it to be honest when I I recently watched it and I realized the movie is not as good as I remembered it to be yeah because the movie isn't structured very well um very early on in the movie, there's virtually no there's virtually no fights. Once the fights start, the fights don't stop. It's not good pacing. Yeah, there are really a proper plot is a. It's just like they go to a tournament and they just fight. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, and I think if I think if you did Street Fighter, you could actually have a better plot. I think you could have like, I think uh, I think that idea you could do something interesting with it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, did you hear about that um, series? I'm going to I'll send you a link one sec. What series? Um, it's called Street Fighter Asian Fist. It's a, like, TV series. But basically, they did done a trailer on YouTube called Street Fighter Legacy. Have you ever heard of it? No. You mean Mortal Kombat Legacy? No, 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 no. Street Fighter Legacy. Basically, it was a trailer with um, Akuma, Ryu, and Ken. And um, Akuma is actually like um, persuading Ryu to tap into his like socks noodle hodo. Do you know what the socks noodle hodo is? Like his dark side, like. Okay, yeah. And um, Ryu finds Ken and then just go for a sparring session, like in the woods, like. 
and it just ends there like it there's the link that's the new series what they're going to do in 2013 oh also they're going to do a Mortal Kombat Legacy Season 2 so that should be interesting as well yeah is this official? Um, yeah this is official yeah I mean, this is a licensed product, right? Yeah, this was a um, talk to at Capcom, definitely. Uh, okay. Yeah, in Japan, in America. So it's not just like a fan film that some fans put together. Um, nice episodes. I would say it's a fan film, but it's actually licensed, if you know what I mean. Well, it's not a fan film if it's licensed. I mean, you can have something short and still and be uh, licensed. Yeah, I'm just saying it's it's going to be like kind of Mortal Kombat Legacy, like that kind of realistic plot and thing. If you know what I mean. Well, Mortal Kombat Legacy isn't realistic. Yeah. Um, the uh, the original trailer, the the original thing was realistic. Because basically, yeah. the Assassin's Fist, the series will focus on Ryu and Ken Masters as they live their warrior life in Japan. And their master, Golken, will actually teach them, if you know what I mean. So basically, this series will be about their origin. That's cool. Definitely going to give it a look. Yeah. And it will be released in 2013. So, 2013 should be a good year. Hopefully. <laughs> you've got Man of Steel and other films. Yeah, and Iron Man. Hopefully it's going to be a, a good film for... Uh, hopefully it's going to be a good film for sci-fi. Yeah. But, uh, so, what else do you want to talk about, Street Fighter? Um, have you ever played the Alpha series? No. Oh, that was... I owned one of them, but never played it. That was pretty cool. That was, like, between Street Fighter 1 and Street Fighter 2. So it was a prequel to Street Fighter 2, in a sense. And yeah, you've got I was watching the I was watching the movie earlier. I only got like fifteen minutes in. The animated movie or the live action or the animated movie of Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, okay. Is that the one with uh, Ryu's brother in? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's basically uh, it's the the plot that I was seeing. And the reason it was weird is it didn't seem like it connected with the with the TV series. Yeah. Oh, is it the one with um, Akuma? Uh, well, it has a bunch of characters, but the plot line is um, uh, Akuma. Who's Akuma again? I'm trying to think. Um, he's Golkin's brother. Is the one that can do fireballs in the air and teleport? Oh, okay, no, I don't think he was in it. It's about basically the the plot line wise is that they end up um, they, uh, Ryu and Ken end up meeting up and they end up going. Um, somewhere, I don't know where, and what happens is, is that, um, they, uh, um, Chun-Li is a, uh, is like a special forces oper op operative or something. Yeah. And, um, they're trying to take down the Shadow something corporate, uh, some Shadow group. The Shadow Lu, yeah. That's right, that's Bison's organization. And, um, essentially that's the plot line of it. Yeah. Uh, the the problem I had with it is that it's the problem I had with it is that I um you had told me earlier that it was that Alpha was supposed to be a prequel to to it, and in this Chun Li seems completely different than she did. Yeah. In the TV series. Yeah. And it kind of took me out because I was thinking, oh wait, this is kind of like it. It did come out after. But I was kind of expecting, I, I was, um, like in that, she's a, um, in the TV series, she's a, uh, she's a tour guide in, in China. Yeah. Who can actually fight really well. Yeah. So, 
So it slightly took me out a little bit when, um... I reckon the animated movies are really good, though. You know what I mean? Oh, no, I don't have a problem with it. It's just that that kind of took me out. That, what, if you know what I mean. What do you mean, like, it's not in order or something? Like the storyline? Uh, that, that it doesn't link up with, um... That it doesn't link up with, uh... Oh, sorry. It doesn't link up with the animated series... Yeah. And it's an animated movie, so I was expecting them... I was expecting them... I, I was expecting them to link up. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I understand what you mean. <clears throat> Let's talk about the um, live-action movie with um, John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, have you seen that movie? Yes. Um, I will state this. I think... Uh, I personally think that this movie had a kind of mistake, so if you know what I mean, because yeah, I know exactly. What you why mean. would Zangief work with Boyson, and Zangief would give Ryu and Ken the costumes, if you know what I mean, and yes. Ken doesn't have blonde hair. I had a problem with who uh, with the star of the movie. And I've said this. I think Kurt Russell should have been, should have been Guile. Yeah, because John Claude Van Damme, American, he's from Belgium. Well, he doesn't even look I, like um, Guile is supposed to be a Caucasian person. And the thing about this is, is that there's plenty of there are plenty of foreign people in that series where you do not have to. Um, isn't isn't Claude Van Damme Asian? No, he's from Belgium, Europe. But I mean, what ethnicity is he? Um, one sec. Let me see. Well, we'll kind of move my mouse. Oh, okay. Actually, no, I think I'm mistaken. He, he just... I always thought he was Asian. He's from Belgium. Uh, does yeah. it say what nationality is? But he, he's not Caucasian, okay? Yeah. That's his, na and there, that's his nationality. Oh, yes? He's Belgian? Okay. Yeah. Because, I'll say this, you can be somewhere and not be of that nationality. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it says right there, nationality, Belgium. I don't know, I always thought he looked Asian. No, he doesn't look Asian. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> That's not something I'm great at. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, people are probably going to say I'm racist. He's a good martial artist, do so you think he has to be from Asia? <laughs> we were talking about racism last night <laughs> because I know for a fact that uh, oh, I know for a fact that I know for a fact that Chuck Norris is from Asia yeah joke that's a joke I know <laughs> Um, but I mean, they could have hired somebody better to play him. Yeah. Um, um, not that he's a bad actor, but, um, the other, um, yeah, I feel really stupid calling him Asian looking at a picture of, uh, John claude Van Damme right now. 
Because when he looked younger, he looked a little more Asian, in my opinion. Who played Boyson? Was his name Raul Julia? He was Gomez out of Adam's family, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. He died, like, I think he died three weeks after the film was released, because he had a heart attack or something. Yes, the movie killed him. <laughs> harsh. <laughs> what? That sounds harsh. <laughs> Because he was a really good Don't actor. Don't blame me, blame the movie! <laughs> the right here was... It's widely praised. Let me read this. Okay, there's something weird. However, performance as General M. Bison was widely praised and garnered him a nominee for Best Supporting Actor at the Saturn Awards. <laughs> I gotta read what they are. Julian, who at the time <laughs> was suffering from stomach cancer. Yeah. So it wasn't a heart attack then. Oh, okay. Um, let's see here. It's a, um, it's, the Saturn Awards is a, is a sci-fi and horror film award show. Yeah. So, what does that technically mean? Does it mean an award for, like, um, worst film or... No, 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 it means all the films that win... Yeah. Are um are sci-fi and horror yeah. films. That means that things that are that means that only those type of films can be nominated. Yeah. Um, like one of the nominees for two thousand nine was Revenge of the Fallen, for Best Picture. Yeah. Avatar won, um, but it was nominated. Yeah, I found it Transformers yeah. kind of kiddified, if you know what I mean. Yes. Um, this actually has a really good track record of actually of actually of actually good films winning. Yeah. Um. It, it, um. From two, I'll li I'll list the Saturn uh, uh, best film of the year from two thousand to the newest one. Okay. Okay. X Men. Yeah. AI artificial intelligence. Ma uh. Ma uh. uh Marority report. Ah, I can't pronounce that. X two. Yeah. Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind, Star Wars Revenge of the uh, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. To be fair, that was a kind of a crappy year because it was War of the World, Serenity, The Jacket Island, Fantastic Four, Star Wars Revenge of the uh, Revenge of the Sith, um, Children of Men, Cloverfield, Iron Man, Avatar, Inception, and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Rise of the Apes is a good film. Yeah. I can't wait for well, the sequel. Well, all those films are relatively good films, right? Some. Like, you haven't heard anything there that you would go, oh, that's like a horrible film, why did that win? Like, you, like it's, it's not like the MTV Music Awards, okay? Okay. Have you heard of the, uh, uh, have you ever seen the MTV Music Awards? Um, not properly, no. I've heard of them, but I haven't watched it properly, if you know what I mean. Did you see that end fight at the end of um, Street Fighter the movie? What did you think of that fight? Well, just give me a second. I want to tell you what the best picture for the last couple of years have been for the MTV Music Awards, okay? Okay. Okay. So, in 2009, the nominees were, as followed, Dark Knight, Iron Man, Slumdog Millionaire, High School Musical 3, and Twilight, okay? <laughs> Guess what won? Twilight. Well, I'll just tell you, guess what won from 2009 to 2012? 
I don't know who won. Who won? Just tell me. Twilight, 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 and Twilight. <laughs> John Wall will agree with that. <laughs> what? I said John won't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> um, well, it's a fact. They did win. They should have lost every year. Uh, I'm looking at 2011 right now because they do it kind of. They do it in the summer, so it's we weird. Um, they've already done the 2012 ones already. Yeah. Um. Um, they don't do it at the end of the year, so obviously Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 1 was the winner of that year. Um, but in 2011, okay, the movies that were up was Twilight Saga Eclipse, Black Swan, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1, Inception, and uh, Social Network. You know the funny part about that is? What? Three of those movies... Um, I think only two of those movies were actually on um, most award, but three of those movies I could actually see primarily being um, nominated for Best Picture of the Year. I, I could see I could see Inception being nominated. Um, Harry Potter, not really, but it wouldn't. But it was just because of what type of movie it is. But the point is, is that the one film that shouldn't be on a Best of Anything list <laughs> one. And was, that was Twilight, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the only thing Twilight should be winning is Razzie. <laughs> I'm just glad that franchise is over, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, they want to make a sequel. They want to make a sixth movie. Seriously? Oh my god. <laughs> they want to torture me for the rest of my life. They want to torture John as well. John's like on the floor right now begging. If you know what I mean. <laughs> Don't let this happen, please. <laughs> See, from 2002 to 2004, the MTV Music Awards had Lord of the Rings, Lord of the Rings, and Lord of the Rings. Whatever happened to the show? Lord of the Rings is a great trilogy, man. I mean... They're just trying to get girls to watch their freaking show. I mean, I hate MTV. Do you like MTV nowadays? I don't even know if you even know what MTV is. No, I've heard of it, but I've seen it. It's just, I feel sorry for lads who take their girls out, you know, to watch Twilight and have to sit there for, like, about two hours, if you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I feel sorry for them. You know why? Why? Because I can tell you this right now. Um, if I had a girlfriend... And she wanted me to take, uh, take, uh, she wanted me to take her to Twilight. What would you I know what we'd be do, I know what we'd be doing when we get home. Oh, okay. I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> trust me, I, I'd make it worthwhile. Trust me, that'd be better than t watching Twilight. <laughs> Let me put it this way, okay? I've seen this movie called Paint Dry. Yeah, I would rather watch Paint Dry than watch Twilight. Yes. Twilight is... Actually, I'd rather have my balls be crushed <laughs> than watch Twilight. <laughs> that actually seems more fun than watching Twilight. <laughs> but yeah. So, back to Street Fighter. Oh, we were talking about the Alpha series, but we can move on from that. So, did you ever play the Street Fighter 3 series in 1997? Street Fighter? No, I've never played that series. And I never want to. The main boss girl was actually broken. It was just so overpowered. <laughs> Why? What did he do? Oh, he's just he's super so overpowered, man. Basically, yeah, uh, when you defeat him, because he's the last boss, yeah, his super can actually resurrect him. It can get him back to his full health. And that's kind of broken in a way. Don't you agree? I don't know. I mean, I, yeah. 
Sounds broken. Sounds yeah, really it's definitely broken. broken. But Street Fighter 3 is a really, really good game because the parrying mechanic is really, really good for a combat mechanic. Some of my friends would definitely agree with me on this. What about um, Street Fighter 4? Street Fighter 4, whoa, was a big rebirth to Street Fighter 2. Did you ever Favorite Street Fighter game ever. Street Fighter 4, yeah. Why is that? Because it took everything good about two, yeah, and it made it and and it gave me a modern game. Um, and the game looks amazing. Yeah, the game plays amazing. Definitely, it has really uh, it has really good care. It has re it has a really good character roster, and both of my favorite characters are in the game. Who is your two favorite characters? Goyle and um, who else? Cammy. Cammy, yeah. Which originally she wasn't supposed to be in the initial launch of the game, but I believe they did a campaign um, of. I believe they took the four additional characters from Street Fighter, uh, from Street Fighter Three. Yeah. Or Street Fighter? No, sorry, Street Fighter Two. The four additional characters. I think they did a campaign and they asked, "Who would you like in Street Fighter Four? Yeah. And they asked for. Uh, uh, the audience actually asked for those characters. Yeah, because you had to play the characters and you had to unlock the characters, if you know what I mean. So each time you, you used one character, you unlock another player. And then you go on forth to unlock the whole roster. Which, that was pretty cool. And the focus attack was kind of sick as well. Give me a second here. Strange thing is though, do you, you know Street Fighter 3? There's these twins called um, Yun and Yang. Their music is actually based off James Bond. Funny. What are you looking at? Um, I'm looking at the characters in Street Fighter 4. Oh, okay. Um. Wait, I thought Cammy was... I thought Cammy was in the original version of Street Fighter 4. Um, she was in, um... Like, the fourth version of Street Fighter 2. No, no, but I think she was in the original version of Street Fighter 4, but I can't find her name here anywhere. Yeah, she's in the original version of Street Fighter 4, definitely. I thought you meant Street Fighter 2. Okay, I'm reading. Okay, let me read something here. Just give me a second. Why are you on Street Fighter 4 okay. for Wiku? Yeah. Okay. Um... Okay, Cammy was the top loaded character suggested for the home version for the game on an online poll. Um, also, Fei Long, um, yes. Dan and Rose from Street Fighter Alpha, and, um, um, oh crap, what's his name? Um, Sasuke, I think is his name. Who? I think, or Sakura. Oh, Sorry. yeah, Sakura. She's like the female Ryu. Yes. <clears throat> from Street Fighter Alpha 2. Yeah, that's right. And Jen from Street Fighter. Yeah, Gen was pretty... Gen. Yeah, Gen. yeah, it's from Street Fighter 1 as, as well. He's one of the few characters on Street Fighter 1. But it was like brought as a playable character on Street Fighter Alpha. Let me uh, see something here. I want to see what characters are in Super Street Fighter 2. What were the additional characters? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, there's characters that are only available in the arcade edition of Super Street Fighter. Yeah, you've got the twins and you've got Evil Ryu and Ono on arcade edition. I use uh, I main Yun on Street Fighter um, for arcade edition. I something I something I would like to ask you. Yeah. You play tournaments, right? Yeah, com competitively, yeah. How common is it for people to use controllers in competitive tournaments? Um, not that really big, to be honest. So that's an uncommon thing. Most people are using joystick. I use fight stick, yeah. So okay, because I have a friend of mine that uh, that, that me and him had a debate because he thinks that he thinks uh, uh he thinks the controller is far superior to uh to a joystick for Street Fighter. That's wrong, because a fight stick can actually have good execution for combos. Well, I, I think, what I think the problem is, is he's telling me that whenever he went to the arcade machine, the sticks were always very loose, and he couldn't see why they were very good. Yeah. And I think that's just because it's a used machine, and it just got wear and tear. Yeah, that must be the situation, then. Because um, I've actually known people that have been to competitions, and they told me, that basically they told me that if you're using a controller, yes. you cannot beat a, a pro. Like, two pros could fight, one using a controller, one using a, a, a joystick, arcade stick. Yeah. And, and the guy using the arcade stick will win 100% of the time. Is that true? Yeah, because arcade stick is meant for execution for combos, like I just says. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, but he's never done... He Like, he never... He's never... Um, He's not a competition player. Yeah, he's just a casual player. Yeah, he's one of those people that, that uh, essentially he uh, essentially he had bought it for the uh, for the uh, uh, he uh, the new system he owns is or he actually has a Wii uh, a Wii U now, but the newest system he owned was a 3DS, so he bought it for the 3DS. Yeah, I heard the 3DS version wasn't really that good. To be fair, I've actually heard it is really good if that's all you can buy. Like it's. It's a comparable version if that's what you can get, um, because it is Super Street Fighter. It, like it's exactly it's it's exactly the console version of Super Street Fighter. Yeah, it's just the controls. The controls are a, 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 are a slight problem um, because, like, essentially on the touchpad you can press on the touchpad they. Uh, you can you can press the touchpad to unleash a uh, to unleash a special move, and a lot of people complain about it's that. You also have different camera moves as well, because the camera can actually move into a different angle. If you know what I mean, for the character, so you can actually see in front of the character with the camera. If you know what I mean. Yes. Do you have a 3DS? No, I don't want one. What about you? Do you have like handheld systems or? I used to have a PSP, PlayStation Portable. Oh, I hate PlayStation portable. Si I hate Sony's portable system. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I own a PSP. Yeah. But I owned a DS long before I owned a PSP, and I own a 3DS right now, and don't plan to get a, a Vita anytime soon. Well, Vita's, I heard Vita's are really good. I've heard a Vita is a really, really good console. Yeah. Um, that's easy to take to your friend's house. Yeah. Because I'm not willing to call it a freaking portable system because it's not. <laughs> <coughs> the reason being is, and I, and I could actually, I could actually explain this to you is the games aren't portable games. Yeah. Um, I own this right here, uh, and uh, I have three games for my uh, for my 3DS. Okay. Yeah. New Super Mario Brothers 2, amazing game. Uh, Resident Evil um, Re Reservation. I don't know the, the Resident Evil game. The the, the one that's uh, the, the one that's actually a, uh, the one that's the one that's actually a game, not a uh, not like a, not like an add-on to a game. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, because there is um, there's uh, there's Resident Evil um, Mercenaries. I don't own that one. Um, and then I have Pokemon. Then I have Pokemon, uh, Pokemon White 2, yeah. and even though that's a DS game, um, my I got my 3DS before I got it, and uh, let me put it this way, yeah, I love this, because they're all very, other than Resident Evil, Resident Evil is not a portable game, 
it is my it, it's essentially the problem with the PSP is that all the games are like that. That when I play that game, I'd rather be playing it on a console. If you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's a different feel. To for a console, it's more different feel. If you know what I mean? Um, the Mario game I have, I can pick it up and play it in a fun game. I pick it up, I play it a little while. It fits. It it seems like it's a handheld game. If you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, also the also the system is very durable. It's well made. Um, I don't. PSP is not a well. It's well made, but it's not durable. Yeah. Have you played um, Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time on the 3DS, the remastered version? Yes. Have beat it, but I have played it. Um. What's the difference then? Compared For to the, the N64 part- to the okay. 3DS. Um, really, it's it's better to compare it to the GameCube version. Yeah. Because, um, I don't know if you know that there is a, there is an Ocarina of Time for the GameCube. No, we had it for the N64. But, but I'm saying, it, it's better to compare, it, it's better to compare it to the, uh, it's better to, com- it's better to compare the, uh, 3DS version to the, um, to the GameCube version. Yeah, why is that? Because... The GameCube version also comes with Master Quest. Oh, okay. So it's like an add-on, in, in a sense. Well, it's not an add-on. It's, uh... Have you ever played the original Zelda game? The very first one that came out? Was that on the NES? Yes. Um, no. I've only played Ocarina okay. of Time. Okay. And uh, yeah. Skyward Sword on the Wii. Okay. Um, the, the way... The best way I can explain this... Yeah. Is uh, essentially the best way I can explain it is that Master Quest is Ocarina of Time with with the dungeons with different dungeons. Like the dungeons are the same, yeah, but they're arranged differently. They're tougher dungeons to get through. So it's more difficult in a sense. Yes, yes, but everything else is identical. Okay. Okay. Um, that's the only thing they changed with the GameCube version of Ocarina of Time. I just want to say that's there. Um, but now, the actual game Ocarina of Time, what has changed is essentially the, uh, essentially the game is, first of all, is they've improved the control schemes in which you can actually change, you, um, which you can use the touchscreen to equip things. Yeah. Um, and essentially they... Uh, they changed the art style so it's closer to the concept art. Yeah. Um, to where it looks nicer. It looks crisper. It's a nicer looking game. Um, it's not, it's not apples and oranges looking different. It's not like how, it's not Wind Waker to Ocarina of Time, if you know what I mean. Yeah, kind of. Um, it's distinctly still the same art style as... Um, as Ocarina of Time, it's just a much better looking, it's just a better looking version. Um, there are certain things that did kind of, that, that when I heard in a review, I agree with. Like, the steers still look painted on, if you get what I mean by that. Yeah. Um, th- they could have done a little bit more with that. Yeah. But other, it, it looks a little better. If you played the game, like, if you, do you own the game for your Wii or no? Um, no. Okay. I've only got Skyward Sword and Wii. Okay. I would suggest you to just get it for the Wii. Yeah. Um, because I think it's like ten bucks for the Wii. Yeah. Um I really there's nothing significantly better on the three D S to to make it worthwhile. I never played it I never played it with three D. Um it's if you're a Zelda fan and you gotta have it, it's it, it's good on the three D S. Um, but there's no reason to buy a 3DS for that game. Yeah. Speaking of Zelda, have you seen the timeline? Yes. Yeah, what did you think of it? Um, because why is there a third split? Say that again, sorry? Why the hell is there a third split? That makes no sense. Oh, then just alternative timelines and this all. Well, I mean, it's, 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 it's there. I know why there's a third split, but it's bullshit. Yeah. It's essentially them. It's essentially them not wanting to think, so they just said, "Hey, wait, there's a third split." Um, yeah. How do you like Skyward Sword? It, I actually liked it. It was actually cause it's a, a good story. 
I think it was the best game of last year. It probably was actually, especially on the Wii, because I don't think the Wii is isn't really a competitive console, if you know what I mean, because it's a family console. But now that the Wii U has been released by Nintendo, I reckon it will be competitive in a way with its games because it supports HD. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to wait to see what the next gen consoles do, but yeah, yeah. So back to Street Fighter 4 then. Yep. Um, have you clocked the game? Completed it? No. No. I rented it and played it a little bit. Yeah, did you get to the last boss? No, Set. I played very little. I played more, I played online mostly. Oh, okay. Which is weird, me playing online, that doesn't make any sense. Online's pretty good. I'm just saying that me playing online doesn't kind of make sense, but but I just tinkered with it. My friend played a lot more than I did. Yeah, because Street Fighter 4 online was just 1v1 lobbies. But when it got to Super Street Fighter 4 a year later, there was more additional online modes. Like, it could save you replays for matches, and it can have an endless battle up to 8 slots in a lobby. And better rank system. And a team battle, 4v4. That was pretty cool. Definitely. Have you played Street Fighter Cross Tekken? Uh, I want to I really talk about this. <laughs> uh, no, I have not played it and don't want to play it. Um, did you hear what happened to Capcom? About it? No. Basically, yeah, if you buy the game... All the DLC is on the disc. Seriously. So basically, you're paying more. Hello. Hello. Yeah, you broke out for a oh. second there. Oh, basically, yeah. Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Yeah, because people rant about this. The DLC was actually on the disc. If you know what I mean. Yeah. And they actually had a big rant about this, because how can you pay a game which has already got the DLC on the disc, but it's been locked, and it can't be unlocked? So you have to pay it to unlock it? do you think that's kind of stupid? Yes. I've, I've thought the first time that's ever happened, either. Uh, when did this happen? Like, what game? I don't know. I'd have to do some research. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, it says here that Street Fighter 5 might come out in 2018. Do you want loads of characters in that game? Um. I would like to first of all is I would like to have um I would like them to keep the original eight from Street Fighter uh from Street Fighter uh from Street Fighter Two. Mm -hmm. I called it the original eight, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um obviously they're probably going they're um first of all is they're gonna be new characters. So you're gonna have to get rid of people. Yeah. Um who do you keep and who do you get rid of? I don't know. Um, it, it's hard for me to say. People have their favorites. Yeah, um, Capcom asked for votes anyway, if you know what I mean. To keep what characters and what to get rid of. Ah. Uh, and... Yeah. Um, I mean, who do you want in the game? Well, definitely all the characters from Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 2, definitely. And, and Street Fighter 3, because we don't have that... Street Fighter 3 is meant to be the last Street Fighter game of the series, if you know what I mean. Street Fighter 4 is a prequel to Street Fighter 3. A couple of years. So I, I want to see more Street 43 players in Street 45. 
That'd be pretty cool. And I want to see this parrying system back as well, because that was the probably the best combat mechanic ever in the whole series. Have you heard of a player called Daigo Yumahara? No. He's meant to be like the greatest tournament player of all time. He's, he's, he's actually on wiki, I'll send you a link. Okay. I know people that their job is playing Street Fighter 4. Yeah. There's Dago Yumahara. Um, this year a, an American actually won a stadium. a stadium. Yeah. Who won this year, do you know? What, the World Championships? Yeah. Um, it was a safe cream called Infiltration. He used the Kuma. But, um, Daigo was in, because we had a 25th anniversary and... The tournament what I was in was a UK qualifier. I could have went to San Francisco if I would have won that tournament. But I got like 70th out of 20. Uh, uh, do you have to actually, do, would you, do you have to win or did you have to get into like the top? You had to win the whole tournament to qualify. Okay. And if you won, did you get, uh, did, did you, uh, would you get hotel stay and airfare or do you have to pay for that stuff? Um, you get, yeah, you sh it was all free. Free flight, okay. free hotel, free everything. What was the uh, what was the prize for winning? Um, twenty five thousand dollars in Amer in San Francisco. Um, twenty five dollars and a trip to San Francisco. Twenty five thousand dollars, yeah. No, no, no. The qualifier was just to qualify to go to San Francisco. But the prize mm. money in San Francisco was twenty five thousand dollars. Okay, okay. So you don't win any you don't win anything for winning the one that you were in. No, you just get free tickets for the flight to go to San Francisco to play in the big tournament, which was twenty five thousand dollars. Okay. The twenty fifth anniversary. I thought there would have been some prize. Yeah. You get free you, you, we had free goodies and everything, that was pretty cool because it was twenty fifth anniversary, you know what I mean? been 25 years since 1997 so that was pretty cool how much was the entry fee to enter the tournament um it was five pounds <laughs> okay so about ten dollars uh, in u.s dollars yeah because i think a pound is worth i think a pound is worth a little less than two dollars yeah uh let me ask you a, a weird question that i just thought about how hard is it to spend U.S. currency in uh, England? I don't know because I've never had dollars in my life. Oh, I only had pounds for English money. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't even know. No, I know. I, I know that U.S. currency is the most widely accepted currency in the world. Yeah, but I don't know to what extent. If you're, uh, I don't know how hard it is to spend in England. No, I wouldn't know, because I haven't had dollars before, so. I've just had pounds. Yep. <clears throat> but you know the Queen of England is on Canadian dollars? Seriously? Yes. No way. <laughs> She's German, isn't she? What? I heard she's German. The Queen of England? Yeah, she's actually German, you know. How is she German? I don't know. I know she's German, but I don't know. Somebody says to me she's actually German. Let me see here. Let me see. She was born in Mayfair, 
London, England. Yeah. I don't know how that makes her German. I think of German, if you know what I mean, but she's not actually English, even though she's born in England. Because her father was George the Sixth. Yeah. Which I'm get, I'm guessing, um, because George is a common name for uh, for kings, and so I'm guessing he was. Um, wait. Other's name. What's the f what was the f what's the name of the famous George uh, that was the King of England? Which number was he? George the Fifth. George the Fifth. Okay. Yeah. Her father. Her her grandfather was George the Fifth. Yeah, that's right. So the Queen of England is 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 as old English as you can get. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. She's, but, a, uh, she's actually German. She's definitely German. Because my, even my friends are really good at history. They said she's German. Her mother might be German. Yeah. What was her mother? Because she's technically not German because, um... Let's see here. Okay, her mother was born in London. I don't know where you heard this from, but I don't... There's... Like, I'm looking it up on Wikipedia, but it's telling me that she's very, very, very English. Yeah. I mean, both of her parents were born in England. Yeah. I think George was born in England. Yep. He was. He was born in um, York Cottage. Uh, no, uh, Nor Folk. Do you know where Nor Folk is? No. Okay. Sounds like a small town or something. Yeah. Like a village, in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. Which is weird because his father was George the Fifth. Yeah. Which, if his father's George the Fifth, I would think he was born in a castle. Yeah. But, doesn't matter. Um, let me get the thing, let me, um... I wanted you to watch this video, it's about 50 seconds, if that's alright. How do you spell currency? Um, I don't know. <laughs> she's on the $20 bill. I think she's also on the back, I'm not sure. Yeah. I believe that's the Queen of England. But yeah. But uh, yeah. So anything else about Street Fighter? Yeah, I wanted you to watch this video. It's about a minute long, if that's okay. It's, it's supposed to be okay. like the best tournament comeback in history. You know, Dago Yamahara. It was just, <laughs> I was just talking about. <laughs> it just got hype after that. What is this, Dago actually in history? Told ya. There goes just Godman. 
That was what? In, that was a world championship tournament in 2004 in Las Vegas. That was insane. The guy has no <laughs> on the me- menu, and Shunley comes up, does her kick, he blocks every damn one of them. Yeah, that's the parry system I was talking about. That's probably the best combat mechanic. That's what I want in Street Fighter V. Yeah. This guy is freaking amazing. Daigo Yamaha was just the greatest. I mean, I would have lost my cool. I would have been like, I would have already thrown down the controller. Go off. Oh, fuck it, I lost. That had loads of views for YouTube, man. For its day. <laughs> yep. Um, what, what future podcasts should we do in the near future? What do you think? Do you think we should do it Avengers versus Justice League? That that'd be pretty interesting. Maybe, but we'll do this off camera. Yeah. Um I think that wraps it up then. Okay, this was Goku for us on one. And this is SSJ CJB nineteen ninety two. And I'll see you next time, YouTube. Peace out.